The state DEP says the results of a two-year study show that building wind power turbines off the Jersey coast would have minimal impact on the marine environment. As Ed Rogers tells us in tonight's environment report, there is still some concern that generating power off the coast could harm ocean life. The study looked at places where birds, dolphins, and whales were concentrated in a 75-mile coastal area from Seaside Park to North Wildwood. Birds were found closer to shore and only a small percentage were found flying at elevations where they might be hit by wind turbines. Dolphins were the most observed species in the study area. 37 fin whales were also spotted. When you take into account 37 sightings over thousands of kilometers of effort, you're going to have a, a low abundance. The study area extended 23 miles off the coast. There are four proposals to build wind energy projects off the Jersey Shore. New Jersey is counting on wind power as part of the state's energy master plan. Based on your European experience, you know, we don't see anything unique here that would, would cause concern, at least in my opinion, for a major impact from any offshore renewable energy type projects. The authors of this report say individual environmental impact studies still need to be conducted before construction can begin on four wind turbine projects off the New Jersey coast. The developers of those projects still need to get final approval from the U.S. Minerals Management Service. That's an agency that's been under fire since the Gulf oil spill. PSEG and Deepwater Wind are partnering on a project to build a 100 turbine wind generating station some 20 miles off the coast of Ocean City. Company officials were encouraged by the study findings. This should actually show the federal government um, uh, that there are not going to be major impacts um, and that these projects can be beneficial and can coexist uh, with the environment. But there is disagreement in the environmental community over offshore wind. Some are concerned that the impact of the structures has not been thoroughly researched. We haven't looked at what it means to put a thousand windmills offshore and what those environmental impacts are. And I didn't hear the scientists say that that was the conclusion that they've reached. Other environmentalists say this study provides data on where to safely erect the turbines. You know, I think the reality is the biggest threat to species in New Jersey is climate change. And we have to do all we can to deploy clean energy resources quickly. Um, we also see now with the oil spill in the Gulf that we, can, we have to move away from fossil fuels as quickly as possible. The earliest the construction of any project could begin would be in three years. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.